Me? Yep. Sorry. Well, obviously it's good to get a win. Uh, we've been waiting for this night. You know, as a team, um, our players have been uh, chomping at the bit since really the end of last season. And, uh, you know, we've been through a lot of hard work since January. Uh, got here with the winter workouts, with spring football, with summer workouts, with training camp. Uh, but I think as much as anything else, we've grown so much as a team in terms of team building, and that was a big point of emphasis for us in training camp to make sure that when we do step foot on that field, that we always have each other's back no matter what uh, because we've been through some some trying times. And uh, I'm just happy for our players in our locker room uh, to just stay together the way they did uh, and just to get tonight here. Uh, and we made it count. You know, I'm big, big on just making every day count, making practice count, making meetings count. And this is the only opportunity we got uh, tonight uh, to play a game, and we made it count. long you've been saying you want to run the football um, tonight all your featured backs uh, contributed in a pretty big way um, and Riley Neal also had a big game as well can you just give uh, give a comment on how well your offense played tonight well it starts with the guys up front you know the credit has to go to the offensive linemen because those guys give our running backs you know holes to do what they do and you know we all know sitting in this room that the running back position for us is one of the most talented groups on our team, and um, they're unselfish. Uh, and it was good to see those guys all uh, get their hands on the ball tonight, have plenty of opportunities uh, to get some carries in. And uh, it was good to see number 34 back out there, man. Well, he is a uh, he is a warrior. Uh, I'm so glad he's on our team. Obviously, uh, Caleb Huntley, Malik Dunner, Marquise Hurt. You know those guys. Uh, in my opinion, are as good as it gets as a group, and uh, it all starts with that. For us to be able to to do what we want to do, it starts with those guys, and it starts with the guys up front. How would you evaluate Riley's performance tonight in, in his first game back? Oh, uh, you know, without looking at the tape yet, I thought he was really in control. He was seeing the defense well, made some big throws, made some uh, checks at the line of scrimmage. He made some uh, decisions. Uh, at the line of scrimmage where he had the freedom to do that. And so uh, I thought he did, uh, without looking at the tape, I was proud of him. Proud of him getting back in there. Number one, you always want to make sure that uh, you take care of the football. He thought he did a great job of that tonight. He was efficient. Um, he made some plays with his feet, too, which we all know he can do that. Uh, but I thought he did a good job getting back in there. And just like James, it's great to have number 15 back in here. Passing a few of last season's highs in um, rushing and total yards, um, doing that so early in the season, how is that going to benefit the team? Confidence, I think just belief, mindset. I think all of our kids believe in one another and they know that uh, we've got some talent. And, you know, talent can only take you so far, though, and it's about work ethic. It's about making sure that you uh, come ready to practice, focus on getting better everything that you do. Um, and just it was good to see our guys have uh, that kind of success. I know they've been uh, looking forward to this day, and I, it really – I'm proud of them. The credit goes to those guys. Those guys are the ones when I addressed them before we get on the bus this afternoon at the hotel. We're the only ones, the guys in this room are the only ones that can control the outcome of the game. And they were ready to play. They were ready to play. Um, yes, we have things we can clean up, but they were ready to play, and I'm proud of them. How did you feel your first game calling plays? How did you feel about certain situations? It seemed like you guys took a lot of deep shots. Yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, that certainly could be better. Um, you know, I'm always going to be my own worst critic, but uh, it's a group effort. It really is. I know you guys don't, but when things go well, it's because of the group effort. We work so hard to put together a call sheet that features our players and puts them in a position to do what they do well. The third down package, the red zone package, is uh, you take a lot of time to study that, to dissect it, um, and to make sure that we're giving our guys uh, an opportunity to make some plays. And so uh, it's a group effort. It really is. And so, uh, you know, there are certainly things that I could have done better tonight, but uh, I appreciate the coaches on the headset uh, communicating. You know, I always ask Kyle about runs. I always ask Joey about passes or play action or third down. And so uh, it was just great com communication uh, by our guys, good starting point. But certainly uh, we got some things to clean up. A player many people are excited about is Johan Steinle. Mm -hmm. We talked about his potential throughout training camp. What was it like to see him go out there and do what he did tonight? I'm proud of them. You know, we've seen that, uh, the players and the coaches, we've seen that, uh, you know, in training camp. We saw Yo Hines um, make some splash plays early in training camp, and I'm proud that uh, when he got out there and he got his opportunity tonight, 
he certainly was not big-eyed. Uh, he handled the stage quite well. Uh, you know, his first college football game, I thought uh, he had two touchdowns in his first college football games, which which is uh, which is a pretty good start. But uh, humble kid, though, uh, and I know he uh, he certainly uh, would tell you right away when you ask him. Ah, oh, gosh, I probably sh- I wish I would have gotten a better release on the one uh, fade throw that Drew made to me, Drew pass interference. But um, you know, Yoel Hines is just scratching the surface, and uh, you know he wants to be good and he wants to work at it. Is it only a matter of time before we see him out there earlier and earlier in games and with the first string? Oh, I, th- I think for us, we got quite a few receivers that we believe in. They all bring a little bit different uh, skill set to the table. And so we've got to keep rotating. I mean, I don't know how many plays we ended up with tonight. It was quite a few. But uh, we got to make sure and rotate our guys and keep them fresh. And when we want to play with tempo, you can't sub sometimes when you want to play with tempo so that the defense cannot sub. But uh, we got to do sh- just keep um, you know working with him, keep him, keep developing, getting better every day. And uh, you know we we, we kind of have two or three different uh, groups of guys that uh, you know are going to see playing time. And sure, his playing time could t- could increase as the season goes on, as you would expect for a young player that uh, is doing some good things. Without watching the tape, what areas were you most pleased with that you saw defensively tonight? Well. I thought our defense came out and responded to the challenge. They took they took it personal about what happened, and uh, they were um, as excited as anybody. They were, you know, it was one of those things that uh, you could see it day in, day out in training camp. You could see it day in, day out in spring practice, and uh, they wanted to come out and they wanted to make a statement. I'm proud of that group of guys because, um, you know, when when you get some of the information floated out there that uh, existed from previous uh, from a previous year, that, that bugs you, and rightfully so. And our guys took it personal and they use that information to motivate them. And uh, uh, I was proud of the, of the way they played. I know they wanted to shut out like we all did, but uh, they did a lot of good things. They, uh, they played uh, every play with a good focus. And um, you know, without seeing the tape yet, I was proud of them. You know, I think overall for us as a team, the one thing I look at is we got to clean up the personal fouls. That's not who we are. We don't do that. That's not the kind of ball that we play. And so uh, I think we had three. Uh, personal fouls, if I'm not mistaken, and so we got to get that cleaned up. That's that's not what any of us are looking for, especially me. I, I saw Curtis Blackwell left the game early. What uh, what happened? With he had a hamstring, and so really won't know much about that until tomorrow once we get back in in the morning and see where Curtis is at. In fact, how you know, and what's the, uh, the severity of it? So we'll find that out tomorrow morning. Is that the only significant? Yeah. Injury? Yep. Yeah. Everybody else, uh, you know, Curtis is Curtis was earlier uh, in the game in the first half, and so um, other than that, just normal, you know, physical bumps and bruises from the uh, just from playing the game. Was there any significance to letting Riley and James close out the game? Uh, they were asking for that. They were asking for that, and so I think they deserved that opportunity to go on the field and take a knee in victory formation. That's something you work hard for, and. Um, you know, I think the, those that first group of guys, that first line, James, those guys deserve to do that. Obviously, look ahead to, to Notre Dame now. Uh, when you're playing a, a team like that, I guess really uh, when you're playing any team, how much does it help to kind of have these extra few days to, to get prepared for that and self in? Always. You know, anytime you can get extra days, especially after you get a win, because we've kind of tweaked our day after the game schedule. Now we're going to get in early in the morning, and we're going to get it, you know, corrected and put to bed because we want to, as a staff, we want to get going full speed ahead on our next opponent, which – is Notre Dame, you know, of course, tomorrow they will have not played a game yet. We'll, we'll be tuned in for that on Saturday night. But, yeah, we're going to go back, and we've already looked at some film this summer from uh, last season, and uh, what's going to be the best plan of attack for us as a team in order to go into South Bend. Focusing in on the further schedule with Notre Dame and I, I mean, how are you looking to use tonight's um, offensive performance when combating um, an offense with a wider skill set? Well, I think it, what tonight does for us is just prove to all of our guys that – their, their beliefs are true, and they do believe in one another. They all believe that we've got some talented players and uh, guys, that, you know, several guys that can make some plays, and, and deservedly uh, so they deserve to have touches. And so it's just it's a confidence thing, but our guys know that uh, every week is a new week. And so tonight we made tonight count, but tomorrow it's over, um, and we got to get to work on the next opponent. we got to make sure that we get in and get our treatment, start getting our body back uh, to where we can be 100%. And then we got to have a great week of preparation here before we uh, get on the bus Friday to head to South Bend. Obviously it doesn't get much bigger than Notre Dame Stadium in college football. Uh, just how excited are you to, to 
have this opportunity for your team to, to compete in an atmosphere at a venue like that? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's, a, spe that's, that's a great opportunity for us, a great opportunity for us. I was a young kid growing up on the south side of Indianapolis, and I raced to the TV on Saturday because there was about three channels available, and I was making sure I beat my brothers and sisters to watch the Notre Dame game. And so that's going to be cool to go to South Bend. You know, I don't know how many times I've watched Rudy, um, but you, you, you pay attention. That's a, a well-known national program and grew up watching them uh, as a kid. But what a great opportunity for our guys, man. What a great opportunity. Uh, to go in there and play on one of the biggest stages that exists. Take two more questions. What was it like, uh, for the most part, keeping your defense off the field tonight? Uh, that's 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 a great recipe if we can continue to do that. You know, keep our defense off the field so that when they are out there, they're fresh. Uh, that helps them. That helps them. You know, not being worn down, and so um, that's something you always want to do is make sure you sustain drives offensively, keep your defense off the field, and um, you know make sure that uh, you avoid three and outs offensively so that they can get a chance to catch your breath, make whatever adjustments they need to make over there. So uh, playing a complimentary game is, uh, is certainly something that uh, we'd love to be able to do and want to do, and uh, but it just takes. Uh, Having a great week of practice every week and approaching it like, hey man, this is this is our one chance this week, and approach it as uh, uh, the biggest game on our schedule, no matter who it is. Coach, one of the way you're you're keeping the defense off is playing a little bit quicker tempo from this year. How's that? Uh, how's that been going so far this year? Well, that's that's just something that we want to do. You know, we feel like that that plays uh, to our strength, and so if we can force defenses not to be able to give us multiple looks because we're playing fast. Uh, that's what we want to do. And so when you do that, uh, the defense coordinator does not have a lot of time to make a call. And so you can kind of dictate the tempo, uh, dictate what is, uh, what's going to be called. Uh, it's hard to get exotic. It's hard to get a bunch of different looks uh, when somebody's really pushing the tempo. And that helps our guys because we take a lot of pride in conditioning. Uh, and so our guys know that we need to be able to use that uh, to our strength. When we're able to play fast like that, then um, you know we're going to make it uh, chunk yardage is uh, a little bit easier to come by, and that's no. But that's just when you're able to play fast like that. All right. Thank you, coach. Okay, thank you, guys.